Now we, we just tried the 3D array command doing a rectangular array. Let's try the polar. Again, let's go up to the word modify, 3D operations, and let's do 3D array. It says select an object. This time select the window down here in the bottom. Touch the right button. Now, last time we typed in R, so if you missed it, you just need to go, go back to the beginning of this segment. Just type the letter P this time for polar. Do an enter. How many items? We're going to say give us six items. Enter. We want to rotate 360 degrees. That means each window now will be rotated 60 degrees. Rotators are copied? Absolutely. So we leave the yes there. Do an enter. Now it wants to know the center point of the array. But we're going to make it very simple here. We're going to select the end point. So I'm just typing in the word end. Touch the end point here. And even though your cursor, notice how naturally your cursor is going to try to follow the orientation of the XY world or the UCS icon. I'm, I'm going to override that by typing in midpoint and I'm going to move my cursor up along the wall. Touch it one time and look what happens. It actually rotated along the Z axis. We could zoom in very quickly and let's take a look at the results. You basically made the central point somewhere along this edge from endpoint to midpoint, and we rotated the original one 60 degrees, making a total of six copies. Again, two dimensional tools with 3D power that's been added to make your life in 3D certainly much easier.